All right, it's time to check out the skimmer. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, coming at you with another episode of the 125 gallon reef build. And today we're just gonna go over the skimmer and a few other things um, on this tank. Um, I'm not going to do like a full unboxing, but <clears throat> here's the box of what I've got. I've got the uh, Reef Octopus uh, Octo Classic 202-S. And from what I've heard, it's a real good uh, sump. Here's some of the uh, statistics on it right here. Sizes and power and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to get into that further, just pause the video and you can take a look at that. But um, here's the box. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and, and uh, put it all together and then I'll, I'll come back. Okay, so we've got the skimmer uh, assembled and uh, placed in the sump here. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at it while it's running. Obviously I'm going to have to be dialing it in quite a bit. As you can see, after not too long of a time for it running, it's already, the cup is already filled up with water, so I think that means that I've got it turned on too high. Um, there is an adjustable dial right here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it down uh, and get it to where I need it to be over time. But it fits good uh, in this sump, which is the eShops, I forget the number now offhand, but it, it, it's doing real good in there. Um, the uh, the size of it is it's it's a big sump. Or, uh, excuse me, it's a big skimmer. I was able to fit it in without any problems. Um, I, I thought I might have to take the sump out to put it in the sump first and then put it all back in, but it does fit in the amount of space that I have here. There's some clearance uh, above the the cup so that I can take the cup off with no problem. And there's still room for other pieces of equipment and media in um, the chamber that I've got it in. As you can see, I've got some bags of pond matrix in there. I've also added some pond matrix to this chamber of the um, sump, and that's what I'm running with as far as my media goes. I've got a full four liter bucket in here, so um, that's going to be more than enough um, to um, be the biofiltration for the, for the tank. Um, and then obviously the um, rock in the tank will also act as biofiltration. So um, it seems to be running good. It was easy to put together. The instructions were a little bit um, hard to understand, but I was able to figure it out uh, with the help of a YouTube video. Um, I decided not to go ahead and film it, um, putting it together because uh, there's plenty of videos out on the out on the internet uh, of that. So. Anyway, just a quick video to show you what I'm using as far as the skimmer goes. Um, also, um, showing you what media I've got in the sump, and that's about it for now. Um, we'll uh, do another video coming real soon um, on some more equipment for this build. Um, if you're new to this channel, um, make sure that you do subscribe. I do quite a few videos quite regularly on all my different um, uh, fish keeping um, areas. I've got a, a large fish room in my basement where I keep a lot of cichlids and shrimp and then I've also got a small um, bio cube reef tank as well. So uh, stay tuned to this series, stay tuned to all the rest of my videos and thanks for watching.